Vernonia School District versus James Acton. Hi, I'm James Acton. In 1991 when I was in the 7th grade, I was not allowed to play football because my parents and I refused to sign a form submitting to random drug testing because our rights under Fourth Amendment were violated. Okay. Who was James Acton? James Acton was your typical 7th grader at the time, and he loved to play football. After Vernonia School District adopted the student-athlete drug policy, James felt his rights were being violated. What right was being violated? The right that James and his family believed was being violated was the Fourth Amendment, which prohibits unreasonable search and seizures. <laughs> Hi, I'm the superintendent of Venonia School District. We established the student athlete drug policy to protect the well-being of our athletes. When James refused to sign our drug testing policy, we were sorry to inform inform he was not allowed to participate in any sports here. The 14th Amendment extends the 4th Amendment and gives us permission to apply drug testing under reasonable cause. Welcome to the court. My name is Chief Justice Rehnquist. Hi, my name is Mr. Volpert, and I am representing Mr. James Acton and his family. Mr. Chief Justice, and may it please the court, the issue presented today is whether a school district with a student athlete drug problem should be allowed to require athlete drug tests. No, 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 no. Thank you for joining us today. Our decision is complete with a majority of six to three votes to renown the school district. The Supreme Court's final decision was that the drug testing of athletes was reasonable under the Fourth Amendment, but it did not mean that any random drug testing to athletes was constitutional. Recap. This case was between Vernonia School District and James Acton. James Acton believed that his right under the Fourth Amendment of search and seizure was being violated. Also, Acton did not believe he should have to submit to random drug testing. Vernonia School District believed they had every right to do this. The final decision was in favor of Vernonia School District.